Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to answer the question, what's the difference between periods and groups on the periodic table? The periodic table is an arrangement of the chemical elements ordered by their atomic number and electron configuration. Developed in the 1800s, it still provides a useful framework for analyzing chemical reactions. If you take a look at the periodic table, you will notice seven horizontal rows. These horizontal rows are called periods. Table rows are commonly called periods and columns are called groups. There are seven periods. Each element in the same row or period all contain the same number of electron shells. Elements in period two will have two electron shells. Period six will have six electron shells. What do the vertical columns tell us? These columns are called groups. Elements in groups contain similar chemical properties. Elements in the first two rows of the table are called the typical elements. Seven of the groups have names, and here they are. If you look at the periodic table, you will notice that the groups are numbered 1 through 18. Another method for naming the groups involves naming them 1A, 2A, then skip the transition metals, which are these elements in the middle, and then 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, 8A. With the exception of helium, each element contains the number of valence electrons as the group number. Group 2A have two valence electrons. Group 7A have seven. Most of the transition elements have one or two valence electrons, except for the following exceptions. Element 46, palladium, have 18. And element 103, laurentium, has three. So in summary, periods are horizontal and groups are vertical on the periodic table. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.